how to defeat Philippe in just seven scenes. And here's the build I am using. For the first scene of the fight, Philippe will always automatically target the lowest HP person. And we're going to take advantage of that by skipping our turn. We want all those negative abnormality pages. So we get three negative emotion points on here. So we'll always get display of infection to increase our power. From there, Lone Fixer and Remembrance is going to activate. And we're just going to use one Fiery Dragon Slash just to get to Ash. Because we don't want him to go into his overheated state just yet. We want to keep him in this very passive state now. From there, we're going... From there, it's Ashes, just because of the increased burn we're going to be inflicting onto him. And we're going to be tanking some damage. So we're going to block one of his attacks with Vapor, just so we can start getting our... Ugh. Start getting our smoke going and increasing our ramping up our damage. The other one is Fiery Dragon Slash to make sure he goes Now after this turn, he will be in his overseas, overheated state. And we're going to start dishing out a lot of stagger damage to him. So in order to make sure the third scene is as, is as consistent as possible, we're going to pick up vines. So we're going to lower his speed down all the way down to one. Abnormality page for this one doesn't matter. First page we're going to use is Ever Spinning Gear Wheel. After that, Fiery Dragon Slash and Single Point Stab on here. And make sure this one is flashing. And the counter die is going to be dealing with his winged even time. From here we're going to stagger him this turn. Voila. So now, every time we stagger him, he's going to go on to the next scene. We're going to pick up Bloodstain to keep Malakut's HP nice and tight, and Green Stem is the most important one. But for this scene, Zhao is going to activate, and we're going to use Yati on here, and we'll hit on three as well. So what we're trying to do right now is try and get three of Yati's effects onto the Crying Children attacks. Because we're going to be using Fiery Dragon Slash on Philippe, and this Fiery Dragon Slash will be dealing with conflicting emotions to get the burn count nice and high on him. Well, before I do that, I'm going to get rid of Wound of Sorrow. Yeah, moving on to here. So you can get all four, or you can get three. Okay, it doesn't want me. Yeah, whatever. And we're going to go in for one side singular strike. Okay, now we get burning on him. Our single point stab going to win these slashes all the time. Fiery Dragon Slash will get more burn on to him. I kind of messed up there. A uh, single point stab should have gone on there, but it won't be too much of a big deal. There we're going to take loyalty, and that's going to be our main strength gain for this. From here we're going to take Yati, and we're going to kill off everything else. Green stem here. Now we're going to be taking one of these wounds of sorrow. We're not going to take both. So the first wound of sorrow is going to go there. First one will go there. Second one will deal with the bait die. And green stem and, and the other mass attack will kill off the crying children. And this mass attack will not stagger. For them. I'm just doing that attack to make sure his HP total is nice and low. Now we're going on to the third page and loyalty is going proc giving us a massive increase in strength. From here he's going to mass attack us and we're going to be beating all the remainder of the clashes. So first things first, we're going to be clashing with his... We're going to be using smoke first to get our damage buffs off. We'll be at 10 smoke and he'll be at 10 smoke so all this will be pure damage. Second attack will deal with Wound of Sorrow. Fiery Dragon Slash will deal with Restraint. And 
single point stab and just go in as a one side attack because the counter attack will be dealing with waned even time. And the mass attack here, we're going to take the second hit. Just so we get loyalty again, just in case we can. But that's more so for the speed run. And voila, he is dead. So that's how you kill Philippe in just seven turns. If you're interested in seeing how speedrunners kill Yon, click the video on the screen.